Hello Virgo, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your messages from Spirit Reading for April 2021 for the sign of Virgo. Let's get straight into your reading and see what your message is. Remember these are primarily messages Virgo and it won't resonate with everybody so just take what resonates with you. Okay, what is the message from Spirit Angel, Spirit's Guides? For Virgo, April 2021, please. Thank you. Two cards have turned, well, three cards have turned over. Let's go with it. We have Rejuvenate, Trust the Divine Plan, and I've got a wake up call. This can be a call to action. Uh, let's see if I can just put those there, Virgo. Hopefully, we've got enough room. Okay, message for Virgo, please message for Virgo thank you okay so one card has turned over yeah you know this this goes with the rejuvenate energy you know as well um ground yourself being distracted, unfocused, tired, irritated and impatient are all signs that you're ungrounded. Now is the time to become centred and allow spirit to help you ground yourself and to reconnect with the divine source. Interesting, we've got trust the divine plan here as well. So you're definitely getting an energy of being watched over, but you need to ground yourself. This can be about reconnecting to your roots, your foundation, what brings solidity and stability in your life. Sometimes that's family, certain people in your life. Sometimes it can be, you know, your home, certain things, you know, that you value. Um, it is just about surrounding yourself with those elements as well. Okay, message for Virgo, please. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah, it's interesting when I was talking about surrounding yourself by people who bring stability and security in your life. I've got number 10, cosmic ancestors, voice your concerns. I mean, this is about your ancestors are watching over you, uh, voice your concerns to them. And it's almost kind of like you'll get the answer back. You'll get the sign back here. You're being watched over. It's a great energy here of, of being watched over. Um, you also might be voicing your concerns too, you know, asking advice or help um, with people that you trust, that are stable in your life, stabilizing forces. Okay, message for Virgo, please. Message for Virgo, thank you. I've got two cards here, so let's go with this. We have we have give with unconditional love and grace, Archangels Raphael and Mary, lovely energy. And we have, oh no, <laughs> I love this one, monkey, experience all that life has to offer. That's so beautiful, Archangel Raphael. And Raphael is, is to do with our health. It's also to do with healing. Um, Archangel Raphael is very much about healing and health. Uh, so really nice energies there. Again, this feeling of rejuvenate, take care of you. It's interesting. I shuffle the cards on your bottom of the deck. I pre-shuffle before offline and then when the camera goes on. Okay, what do we have for Virgo, please? So I'm going to pull three cards. First card is the mes message from Spirit. Second card is what it pertains to. And the third card is any action or advice. Okay. Kind of wants to come out, so let's go with this. Seven of Pentacles is the message from Spirit. Five of Cups. Seven of Cups. Bottom of the deck. Oh, nice. King of Pentacles. I mean, I'm kind of seeing this as you in a way, Virgo. Um, very nice energy, the King of Pentacles. Normally it's Taurus for me as a reader. I mean, that might resonate with some of you as well, but um, it also feels like it's your element. So we have Seven of Pentacles here. And I've got it relating to the Five of Pentacles. 
sorry, five of cups even. Five of cups is to do with our emotions, our feelings. And this is somebody who may have experienced loss or, um, you know, lost relationships, failed relationships, uh, feeling of failure, being pessimism, pessimistic, feeling down. I mean, that is the energy of the Five of Cups. They focus on the negative, the emptiness. And uh, the more they focus on those empty cups, the more that they will get feel more emptiness. So there's definitely an energy of it's the wake up call to rejuvenate, get back on your feet, ground yourself now. Because there is an opportunity here to experience all that life has to offer. Um, and you know, these two, there's definitely this energy here with these two cups behind this person. There are better things ahead, you know? It's time to find that flow again. Time to find progress, move forward, on from whatever this five of cups means to you. Um, and, and there's an energy here of doing that, taking stock on what's of value to your life and what's not. You know, what's worth your time and energy and what's not. Um, because there, with this with this seven of pentacles, it feels like there is definitely some kind of turning point available to you where you're just thinking, I can't keep on staying focusing on what's gone or what's getting me down or focusing on the negative. I need to put my energy into the right direction now and recalibrate, recharge. Also take care of me, take care of my health. Um, what's the value to me, you know? Uh, and the, the Seven of Pentacles can be a card of perseverance. Now, for some of you, this can be in terms of job loss. This can be in terms of relationship uh, changes. Um, whatever resonates for you, Virgo. But in this energy, this is about putting your energy in the right direction, taking stock on how to bring growth into your life now and persevering. If, any, if something has got you down, I mean, I did mention health as well. So if something has got you down, um, there's definitely an energy of, okay, I have to recalibrate and really focus. I'm being tested here. It has been a testing time, but I'm just going to go one step at a time and focus on bringing greater value into my life now. And that is what I'm definitely feeling because it is a card of perseverance, but it's also a card of put your energy in the right direction on what is going to bring growth, what is going to bring stability, what is going to bring um, security into your life. Money, career, you know, grounding yourself, focusing on the things that are of value to you, and um, also persevering in terms of money and career. So very nice energy indeed. Um, you can't stay focused on the negative forever. And that's what the energies are very much, you know, there's greater value ahead. Just trust, trust in the divine plan. It's time for you to recalibrate, recharge, ground yourself most definitely, but you're definitely being watched over. But there is definitely some call to action here with the wake up call. And it's to do with, I think this, where you're placing your focus and energy. Um, because the seven of cups is a card of hopes, dreams and wishes. And I definitely see this in relation to the king of pentacles. So the Seven of Cups can be to do with choices, and it's about the future, this. This is about the future, choosing, making choices about your future. It can be multiple opportunities open to you as well. But there's definitely an energy of now is the time. You have more options than you realize here, Virgo. Um, oh, there's so much potential around you. This is Empress energy, and she makes an appearance top left in that corner. Um, in one of those cups. So there's definitely an energy, there's such potential around you here. Um, very much to do with your hopes, dreams and wishes. There are doors to open here. Focus on that. Because for some of you, there is definitely an opportunity to bring stability, security and safety into your life. The King of Pentacles um, 
is all about that stability, security, safety, success. Very good in terms of getting back on your feet in terms of material success, maybe some kind of opportunities, doors to open here that are leading to material success. Very good in terms of um, mastering any health challenges. Very good in terms of mastering any relationship challenges. It's whatever this Five of Cups has affected you emotionally with. Um, but this is just somebody who masters. The, ki the kings are masters. They're the achievers. They master their suit. So it definitely feels like you've been challenged to get back to stable ground, um, to get back to this stability and security and feeling good in your own element once more. But I'm definitely getting this energy. It feels very beautiful, Virgo. You know, I just nudged that card. Yeah, you see? Oh my goodness. What did I say about the emperor, Empress? You know, Venus in Virgo. Um... I love this energy, Virgo, because this is somebody who stands in their own, on their own feet, empowered, feeling good. Now, the Nine of Pentacles is, is a result of hard work in terms of money, career, finances. For me, because it's Virgo energy, it can also be about whatever, maybe health challenges. There's definitely some kind of energy of um, mastering it, you know, or or feeling at one with it, you know. Um, it can sometimes be about being recovery complete. And this is also, you know, I'm okay. If there's been some split, relationship split, I'm okay on my own and I feel pretty good about it. You know, it is just that stable energy of mastering something that may have made you feel ungrounded, unstable, insecure in whatever level. There's definitely this energy of, oh, I am going to feel abundant. I lack for nothing. I'm getting the reward for my hard work materially. I know my self-worth, self-esteem. Um, and I, I, ju I just feel good and at one with who I am and aligned in my external environment with where I am internally as well. This is somebody who's very, very aligned with who they are. So I definitely love this energy here, Virgo, of just feeling empowered and good in your own skin, in your own right. Um, but very good in terms of money and career. Any challenges that have, you've needed to persevere on in health, I definitely feel that you will be feel empowered um, you're in control you're in control of it so it I, I love this energy it's absolutely beautiful and um, and yeah if you have split in terms of a relationship the nine of pentacles is I stand in my own power in my own self-worth self-esteem feeling really good about it providing for myself in every way. So it definitely feels very beautiful. Okay, so final message for Virgo, please. Oh my goodness, how appropriate. I've got take control of the situation. We know you can do this. I said this. Whatever situation this is referring to, these are messages, like I said, it feels in this situation there is some perseverance. You have been tested, but my goodness, you will master it. And you have more hopes, dreams, wishes, doors to open than you realize. So there's definitely this energy of being empowered and feeling pretty good. Um, Number three, <laughs> number three, which is a, a number, it's a magical number, master number. Do look it up, it's divinely guided number as well. But there's definitely an energy of manifest it, manifestation with the number three as well in tarot. I love this energy very much. Yeah, so this is about coming back to you, your own power, you know, love that energy. I hope you enjoyed the reading, Virgo. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.